the new UI for Curator got an update. The name is uh, Analyst Workflow, but it's just the I just call it the new UI. I just install it, give it a try, and I want to share what I think about it in this video. So let's actually go into it, and I'll show you how you install it and all that. But what I like the most about it is the fact that uh, remember in the past, so I'm, let me go in here into uh, in the recent past, when you go into a particular offense, the events were in dark mode, but the flows were not. So you need to kind of uh, get your sunglasses when you go from dark mode to clear mode. Not anymore. Now when you click in here, you get uh, more on the search in a second, but you get the actual flow details in dark mode and nicely organized. So for example, if I were to click into this particular flow, uh, you get to see the information about that flow separated. Here's the source and destination, and you can actually close uh, these things, the rules matched, the targeted fields, some um, custom properties, the first three, and the, the, all the others, details on the payload, etc. So you get everything, you know, nicely, nicely organized. Now, let me actually cover the search and then I'll show something else. So here's the search in case that you want to learn a little bit of AQL without watching my videos. So this is, you know, select that's a property application, the function of the property name, which extract from the application ID the actual name and it's labeled it in the column as application. And, you know, this is the stuff I cover in the videos. But if you want to learn, let's say that you, you don't have time for that and you want to learn on your own. Now, this is beginning to get, and this is the first iteration. It's going to get more stuff as uh, Shane has, has, has has told me. So if I were to do, for example, select asterisk, and then you, you get the look ahead, right, from flows. And one thing is that if I tap, uh, if I hit the tap uh, key, you get, you know, are you going to put a work clause, session by, into? Uh, the start is actually very nice because it, it already, you can go by calendar from which day to that date, or you can go back in time. So I say I'm going to go back on the last 45 minutes. Uh, and then let's say that I, I don't want to get all the flows, but I want only the ones that have, uh, for example, destination IP. So all you need to do is go there and put, you know, the first words, and then it shows you the options in here. So where's destination IP? Here it is. And you have built your, your, your first query just like that, right? And you get uh, to see the results. So you want to extend, modify this. If you go here, you know, when you tap there, I want to expand that 15 more minutes, right? And when you click in there and do the wrong query, that time keeps increasing. You see, as I click, the time uh, increases. So I, in the future, Shane told me that instead of you going into the look ahead and finding the options in here, you're going to get uh, a nicer screen where you can check on the property that you want which is a little faster than the look ahead. So it's pretty good. Let's actually go back uh, to the offenses. Another thing you can do is on any offense, you can actually, on any IP rather, you can actually click, look, notice that this one is telling me that it is external and it has some level of severity because this is not yellow. Uh, but it actually has a red color. So when you click on it, you see that is a botnet command and control. As a, the, the category is in Thailand, uh, you know, and you can click in here and go into the X-Force and get more details should you want to see more about it. It's pretty, pretty nice. It's pretty, it's save you a little bit of clicks here and there. So, so it's not only looking better, the idea is to make your the way that you search stuff faster with less clicks. So if you're new to Curator, you're going to prefer this interview, this uh, interface. If you are, uh, you know, have a lot of, you know, muscle memory on the other uh, traditional view, uh, you, you have them both. Now let me share with you the process of installation of this. Uh, until the next version of the, of the, of the, of the uh, Curator, this is going to be 
a little cluey like I show you in here. Not a big deal, but it's not as standard as to any other uh, app that you download from the App Exchange, uh, either with the assistant or by downloading the file. So when you go here into the app, instead of finding that you get the download button here, you get a click. I say, oh, okay, what is this? You go here in ex specifically in Fix Central. No need to search anything here. Uh, but you get the actual link to the zip file that you need to download. So you click in here and that's the zip file. So you click on it and it gets downloaded into your downloads directory. Now you move it into QReader and I use FileZilla to do so. You can use SCP, whatever it is that you use. And I put it here into the store temp directory. And I already installed this, but I'm going to reinstall it. It doesn't hurt. It's going to update the the, the, the package, but uh, I'm going to show you the steps. So I'm SSH into the box. I'm on the store temp directory where I put the file, and I'm doing the unzip, putting everything under this directory. And you can make whatever name you actually want. And in my system, it's going to say that it already has it. So you want to, in my case, I'm going to say yes uh, uh, to all. So it's going to be... renaming everything it should have oh I need to put capital A sorry and then it, it uh, rewrites all those but again you you will not see these if, when you install it for the for the first time after you've done that all you need to do is move into that directory and there is a start dot sh and all you need to do is uh, run that and in my case, you'll see that a few things are going to be replaced in yours. If it's coming from the first time, uh, you will not see them. And if you are upgrading from a previous version, uh, this will do the update as, the, uh, as well. But as you can see, it's not going to damage anything uh, by running the process once. I'm going to pause the video until this finishes. It, it takes just, just a few minutes. That That is it. So if you like the traditional curator view, you have the muscle memory, you know where to find for the stuff, you have it there. If you are new and you prefer a new dark mode with better orientation, more information on, on, every, on every screen, uh, more visual-like, well, then you, you have this option as well.